I'm Anil Kumar sharing an interesting question. It is IB grade 10. Find coefficients of trinomials. Consider the function f of x equals 2 kx squared minus 2kx plus 1. Determine the value of k for which the equation has only two factors, right? So that means there are possibilities of having one factor or there are possibility of having two factors. Uh, there's a possibility that we cannot even factor a trinomial, right? So in this particular condition, we are looking for the value of k, which will give us two factors, right? So that is the question, how to do it. So let's look into the function again. It is kx squared minus 2kx plus 1. If we need two factors, that means b square minus 4ac, the discriminant, should be greater than 0, right? I hope you remember b square minus 4ac, what we are talking about. We are talking about when a quadratic equation is given in standard form as ax square plus bx plus c, the solution of this quadratic equation is x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a, right? Now, if b square minus 4ac is 0, you get just one factor or one root. If b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, then we get two factors, minus b plus minus something. But if it is negative, then you do not get a real root, correct? That is the idea. So we are looking for a value of k so that in this equation, b square minus 4ac is greater than 0. So if we compare it with the equation standard form, we know a is equals to k for us, b is equals to minus 2k, and c is equals to 1. So now let us see what is b square minus 4ac. So b square minus 4ac is minus 2k whole square minus 4 times a is k and c is 1. That should be greater than 0. So that is our equation, correct? So if we square this, we get 4k square minus 4k should be greater than 0, correct? This can be factored. So let us take 4k common. And what do we get? We get k minus 1, that should be 0. Now the question is, we have a condition. How to figure out what k is? Okay, so what we will do is, we can have different strategies. I prefer to sketch k and then show you the solution. This really means that we will have a 0 for k equals to 0. So if k is 0, we have a 0. If k is 1, we again have a 0, right? If k is 1, we again have a 0. That means this quadratic equation will be something like this. Where this point is 1, this point is 0. Now, if 4k times k minus 1 is greater than 0, what are we looking for? We are looking for values of k which are on the right side of 1 or on the left side of 0. Do you understand? And therefore, we can write down our answer, which is that k is less than 0 or k is greater than 1. Do you understand? So that is how we can do it using graph. You can also do it using test values. That is, for k equals to 0 and k equals to 1, you get zeros. Now you can have test points, right? So we can have test points and test your answer. Take a point on left side of 0, let it be minus 1. In between 0 and 1, let us see, say 0 0.5 and greater than 1 as 2. Now if I write minus 1 here, I get negative and negative, which will give me positive, which is greater than 0. So that helps. That is a part of solution. But if I write 0 0.5, 0 0.5 times 4 will be 2, which is positive, and 0 0.5 minus 1 will be minus 0 0.5. 
when you multiply negative with positive, you get negative, which is less than 1, not equal to, not greater than. So that is not solution, right? So this part is not solution. But if you substitute 2, 2 minus 1 is positive. 2 times 4 is 8, which is also positive, correct? So positive multiplied by positive is greater than 0. So that is a part of solution. So you can use both. So that the other method is called interval no, interval test. So in each interval, we are testing with the help of points whether the given function is greater than 0 or not, right? So that is how we can solve this question. I hope that helps you to understand the concept. Thank you and all the best.